Peter, what is DuckDB, and why does it have such a goofy-ass name? DuckDB is an open-source, fast, embeddable SQL OL app database designed to simplify how developers implement analytics. The project was named DuckDB because the creators believed that ducks were resilient and could live off anything, similar to how they envisioned their database system operating. The simplest way to understand it is as SQLite, but optimized for columnar data instead of row-based storage. Columnar storage? Why not just use regular row storage? Row storage is great for transactional workloads where you need to read and write entire records simultaneously, like an e-commerce website processing orders. However, for analytical workloads involving time series data or IoT applications, you typically need to read and analyze all values in one column across millions of records. Columnar storage optimizes for this pattern, enabling much faster data aggregation, filtering, and joins. Combined with multi-threading by default, it provides exceptional performance for analytical queries. Impressive. So do I need some big distributed server to run it? Not at all. Like SQLite, DuckDB runs as a single binary with no dedicated database management server required. You simply install it, run the DuckDB command from your terminal, and you're ready to start working with data. You can write your own data or query existing CSV or Parquet files from S3 buckets directly using SQL statements without loading them into the database first. Wow, so any gotchas before I try it out? A few. DuckDB is an embedded analytics engine, so it's amazing for analytics, but it isn't a long-running client-server database for many concurrent transactions. While multiple readers can read from DuckDB at the same time, there can be only one writer. Use it for analytics and data transformation, and keep your business logic in OLTP databases like Postgres. Fine. How do I try it in 30 seconds? You can use pip install DuckDB, download the binary, or visit shell.duckdb.org to try it out on the web. It's truly the most portable way to do analytics.